Yeah. Look. Why is it? Why is it? My God, why is it that don't nothing surprise me? Maybe it's cause I've seen too much, don't remind me. The world plus the church gave me stories to tell. I've seen people get blessed but then shortly rebel. Not long after, potholes capture. The feet of those who ain't walking carefully. God's your master. So those who in authority, be careful with power. Cause there's a power higher than the powers that be. Hourly, people are raised up and people are sat down. Some make things happen while others just stand around. Loyalty's the best gift that's why a woman say she looking for trust in the relationship let's drift to other subjects like the love of money that's the root of all evil hearts are numb for money for cold hard cash people get so darn mad because somebody didn't pay him back let god expose you he's trying to show you your love for money plus your pride took a blow too there's something funny going on it's called purification and maturity turn with me through the pages of scripture learn with me how jesus turned the cheek knowing judah stole money Money at the collection bag, but Jesus wasn't sweating that. Don't doubt the Lord's provision. You know the Lord's position in this matter. No revenge. Don't ask the Lord for permission to take matters in your own hands. I've seen men make mistakes and not learn. So as an old man, they still did the same thing. Don't much surprise me because we living in the same world and ain't a thing changed. Hey. Ain't nothing new under the sun. King Solomon said that if you don't want to be surprised, you just need to head back to the days of history. Paved through centuries, everything's already been from revival to deadly sins. It's all documented. Human nature's still the same. And people looking for that way of escape to filter pain. God's been the answer. He still is. He still lives in the heart of people through Christ Jesus, the real deal. Even if the church got issues, that isn't God's fault. I'm sorry that those kids got misused and sexually abused by priests does it surprise you the bible talks about the devil using deceit and transformation to an angel of light disguised on the outside but inside things ain't right don't accept it but don't be surprised widen your eyes be as wise as a serpent and as wild as a lion harmless as doves the heart of christ harness is love even for the most hardened thug in church it be hard for him to budge his heart he be guarding it tough even from good things trying to block the darker stuff like betrayal and broken trust the minister's lay hands and get mad cause he don't fall talking about open up but he's already open demonstration to change his life the love of God plus his power will leave him sanctified man yeah get that track again don't talk about hey let me highlight you how could I be surprised by jealousy in ministry? So many ministers insecure what they call and finicky. Have it your way. But I maintain my affinity with the Lord Jesus Christ. Ministers are fidgety when they think somebody else is more anointed. Shouldn't be comparing anyway. All that stuff is pointless. Focus on the work set before you. I'm focused on mine and won't stop putting in work over time. Suddenly blessings come at the years of diligence. It took hard work. Are you really in for this? Laboring behind closed doors didn't have time no more for socializing it wasn't about i no more it wasn't about me no more it was god and his will his plan his purpose preparation for real they see the building not the labor that it took to build you see the food but wasn't around when we cooked the meal so many steps we done took but you just see us in the limelight don't know about the sacrifices to be christ-like dues been paid arrangements were made by the lord so i could do what i do my face on the page was not the aim it's glorifying christ Helping people find Christ, stomping mental illness with the mind of Christ. Bastion Satan with the rhymes are right, don't be surprised, I like everything that come with this life. Shine your light, what you surmise might be right, but it might be wrong. So speak what you know, don't none surprise me long. Jesus in John chapter 4, John chapter 3, he said we speak that we know. He said we speak that which we know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, you got to know what you talking about before you talk, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that, man. Because you can't believe everything you hear, you know what I'm saying, in the hood. They used to tell you, uh, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. You know what I'm talking about? Unless it was the Holy Ghost talking to you. Yeah. 
Yeah.